and Ivy, Ivy and I, watched Fireman Sam this week. Yes, yes. I saw your message mm-hmm. on Saturday. So what is have you got any we've feedback? Seen, we've, seen, we've seen two episodes. Yeah. Um, she loves it. Like she was watching it, um, like bouncing or whatever. She absolutely loves it. Norman Price. Yeah. Um, which we, I haven't seen. No, well, I've seen, so the two episodes I've seen, one, he went out on a boat with his mum and he got stranded at sea. Yeah. Um, series seven, I think this is. And then the next one was his skateboard was run over. So we wanted a new one and he fell down the well to get some to yes. get a spare change. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. So first of all, just don't let him leave your house. Like anywhere he seems to go, he get, he gets into some sort of trouble. Yeah. Um. Ju- I just wouldn't put him near water. Bloody <laughs> hell. Um. But there we go. Um. But then the second one with the well, like he's stealing money there. Mm. I don't think enough said about that. Like he's quite happy on my skateboard. Um, my skateboard's cut in half. What shall I do, mum? And his first thought is, I'll go down the well and steal some money. <laughs> Like that isn't a message I want Ivy no. to have. <laughs> Do you not see what I mean by he seems to commit a lot of crimes? Yeah, and gets away with um, it. But I've only seen two so far, so we'll see if my feelings grow as the yeah, episodes. It's it, that that sentiment to Norman's not going to change. But I also find surprising. And this is series seven, so I imagine it's not the only the two times this has happened to him. But they get the note come through and like, oh, Norman's such a thing. Like I by now you'd be like Norman Stock. <laughs> Right, who wants to come this time? It's a, it seems to be yeah. a surprise every time this, it comes this, through. This is what happens. There's even, um, I think it's one of the films they do that's on Amazon or something, where there's a montage, like a good five-minute montage of just right. Norman just doing something, being stuck. Okay. You know, starting a fire. And, and there's even an episode I watched recently where they have to make, um, they make Chinese lanterns. And obviously the idea right. is you put a bit of fire underneath it, let it go. Yep. And it goes, yeah. So they all they all line up and they're all ready. And just as they're about to do it, um, they get a call from Fireman Sam saying, or they've just found out the wind direction's changed, so don't release them because if you release them, they're going to go into some, like a wooded area, like a massive forest that's right behind them. Mm. So all the kids are like, oh, no, okay, well, that's a shame. And he's like really furious. Like, I've, oh, I'm here, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So like all kids blow them all out. So they all blow them out. And you see him go, oops, and lets <laughs> it go on purpose, <laughs> and then causes a few huge forest fire. Right. Like, that's his literally cause environmental damage. What happens? And oh, you naughty Norman. He doesn't get grounded, does he? If he, uh, if he was grounded, then it, these things wouldn't keep happening. No. Discipline, my friend. Discipline's yeah. needed. We need to see an episode where Norman finally actually gets arrested. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is... Sammy. Yeah. Police, police woman Sammy. There yeah. we are. Well, in the new series, which I only discovered um, on Amazon a few weeks ago... Um, is it like series? I can't believe I know this. It's like series ten or twelve or something. They've added a new character, which is a policeman, right? Okay, who is the brother of the nurse? Not the seeing nurse yet. Okay, um, yeah. So he's he's new, and he gets involved in the action. And there are times in the episodes he's a bit like Norman. What what are you doing? <laughs> like, just, what are you doing? So, but yeah, that's good. But it's I nice noticed, to know. It's not nice the original series is on Sky. Uh, so, the stop motion one. Yeah, so the f- first series, first episode, um, we've not watched that yet. I've got it downloaded, uh, but I don't think her um, her interest will be kept up with the. Yeah, as you said, the stop you know what? In fairness, Mary likes watching the original ones because you can get them, find them all on YouTube. Right. So she likes watching some of those. Um, okay. It's funny because in certain ep- again, you've watched. I've watched Fire Miss Sam too many times now. Um, in the fire <laughs> station. Um, there is a picture on the wall of the original stop motion. I team. wondered if I, th- yeah. I wondered if it was that. And Catherine said to me, I think she's found out that it is in canon. So technically, the, the stop motion is series one. So it's yeah. all continuous. But strangely, when they started the um, animation version, they cut out uh, Bella Lasagna. The oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. yeah and I then remember. in the later series, they bring her back. As a character, right? But the kids don't remember her, despite the fact that in the early series they interact with her quite a lot. Okay, so they did a bit of a yes. retcon. Again, I'm getting very deep into Fireman Sam, and this this will only apply to our long 
standing listeners. Yes. <laughs> uh, where we discuss Norman and Fireman Sam. Anybody yeah. that's just tuned into this series will be like, why the fuck are they talking so much about Fireman Sam? <laughs> and, this was an original question. Yeah, and very much on that Fireman Sam bombshell, it's time for this week's ADQ. Um, David Evans here at the helm once again, and joining me as always is the clop to my flop. It's Mr. Michael Malins. What? No, no. What? I'm not, I've been clop to my flop. You're the clop. Seen clops of... No, you're the clop. Clops of flop. No, you're the clop to my flop. I'm putting. I'm giving you a compliment. Okay, fine. Okay, <laughs> fine. That's all right. That's all fine. I wasn't going to go down any schools this week, but I was trying to think of what to go for. Well, thought, thankfully, oh, we won last night. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd give you a bit of a boost. But no, yeah, it's a compliment. Don't worry. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you. But anyway, Hank, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing, Mike? I'm, I'm living, living the life, mate. I'm, I'm really good. How are you? I'm fine. Besides, I'm the, for... besides the panic this morning and forgetting the mic and having to go back home twice. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm all good. Good, good. We've got more daft questions for everybody this week. Oh, uh, we've got some juicy ones. We've got a good listener question, yeah. which will require some visual looking as well. Michael, give oh. you Yeah. What could I be doing? Uh, obviously, we do put this show on YouTube and it does take ages because <laughs> of my internet speed. <laughs> So for this week, we do implore you to watch the YouTube version as well. And of course, you can subscribe and uh, like the videos. You can. Of course. Uh, but let's keep things off, Mike, with correspondence. Do we have any correspondence um, from last Yeah, week? we've got one, David. <laughs> oh, we were so... Um, we implored people for correspondence. Did they hear? No. Um, and it was about a previous episode, series, um, first series. Do you remember the debate of when we talked about our shower routine? Yes. And I think you said that you use shampoo twice. Yeah. Yeah. And a couple of people came back and said, yeah, you've got to do this. Well, at Mrs. Foz underscore I am mm-hmm. has in- come back with us from a from the mirror, an article from the mirror that a hairdresser has yeah. come out and confirmed these rumors. Okay. So the hairdresser says, hairdresser Felicity said it had come to attention that not everyone knows that when you shower, you should be using shampoo twice rather than once. Ooh. She explained, the first time will cleanse the hair of all the oils and products build up so that when you do it for the second time, the shampoo can actually do what it's intended to do. Um, she then goes on to say, if you need some tips on how to wash your hair, also, only apply shampoo to the scalp, and when you rinse it, it will run through the middle and the ends. Then only apply conditioner to the middle and ends of your hair and use your fingers or a wide tooth comb to detangle in the shower while conditioner is on. Very good. I mean, I'm, so that, I, that'll be when you've got the mambon. Yeah, that'll be the tip. I think so. I think so. And to be honest, I'm not going to even bother using a comb now in the shower. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you? They don't do it anymore. But did you ever used to use the extra strong minty shower gel? That yes. Oh, what yeah. was it called? That company. Um, it's um. I still. Oh, I I use it. Yeah. Um, I can't believe I know. You know which one I mean though. Oh my word. <laughs> The, the mint shower gel. Yeah, yeah. but they I do, use it every day. But they do a mint. They do a mint shower gel now. But they used to do an extra strong version. Yes, and oh, it was magical. But I think it used to be a bit painful at times. It almost really? like, it was that cold on you. It almost felt like it was burning you, and especially if you used it in certain areas of your body as well. Well, um, I think it was Jason Manford, I'm not too sure, but there was a, a comedian that did a routine on it. And he was talking about when he used it for the first time or whatever. And he said, when I washed my ass, it felt like the cat flap was still open. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. Um, but oh, what is it? Tea tree, not original source. Oh, there we go. Original source, good variety from original source. Um, but yeah, yeah they've, stopped, um, they've, stopped, they've stopped doing that now, though. Yeah, I can only get the the original L, um, yeah. but they sell it like six pack in Costco. I was like, yep, that'll do. Yep, <laughs> okay. But no, I've not seen the XL like the double strength one for ages. No, no, bring it back. That's what I say. Um, and that's it, unless you there's an update on your man bun. Um, is Catherine willing to sponsor you? Uh, no, not at all. She has Jeez. talked. She has talked already about maybe it's time we try and give it a cut at home. Do we? Do you, will you try and let me give a cut? And I was like, mm, not after last time. No. <laughs> so I'm going to see. I think it's going to have to get to a point where I go. You know what? I'm sick of it now. We're going to have to have some kind of haircut. But it's still me, going. Um, we're going for a man bun. 
Um, obviously, we've been imploring for correspondence on previous questions and people's versions and answers. So we'll implore once again. And Michael, how can people get in touch with the show to do um, that? Very, very easily, David. We have an Instagram and Twitter account. Get in touch with us at a daft question or give us an email, a daft question at gmail.com. Lovely. I can hear my kids once again moaning in I the background can hear your kids. about something. I don't know what they're moaning about, probably. I could hear them last week on the episode as well. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll see. We'll see how they go. And they may invade once again. Great. They may invade. We'll get we'll get Mary's opinion on you know the the tough issues of the day. Yes. We will do well, there's that. a there's a, there's one of the listener questions that I think she might. I'm sure she she's got an opinion on. Okay. Uh, so let's get straight into it, Mike. It's time for question number one. Uh, Michael, takeaways. It's something that yes. we all love in life. It's an evening. You can't be asked to cook anything. So let's just get a takeaway. As a kid, it's one a magical time when your parents say, should we get a takeaway? Yeah, get <laughs> in. Uh, but my question to you, Michael, is I want there's a scenario where for the rest, I mean, my youngest doesn't like this question at all. I can hear <laughs> um, there's a scenario where you can only have one takeaway, one kind of um, takeaway outlet for the mm-hmm. rest of your life. Um, so on that question i'm not saying that you can only have one set meal from one takeaway for the rest of your life you can have the mm. variety that's on offer but you can only go to one takeaway option for the rest of your life uh which one is the best one to go for i was very much torn with this question <laughs> because i've got my favorite um fast food uh chains burger yeah. king mm-hmm. um but then you're, you're thinking of like you're trying to think of your famous are there any famous Chinese chains or like Indian chains? I don't know if it, we're, not off up, the top of my head. North in it, Indians, we've got East is East. Have you got an East is East? I think, like, as there's far a few of them aware, up north. As far as I'm aware, and people correct me wrong, they're all independent okay. outlets. But I could be completely wrong on that. Um, but I think if you're going to stick with that, this one chain forever, then. I think in terms of variety, I'm going Domino's. Okay. Because, yes, predominantly they are pizzas, and they yeah. are very good pizzas, and you can have all the toppings in the world with your, on your pizzas, but they also do chicken nugget type things, yeah. chicken strips, a little potato wedgies and potato skins, and you got ice cream and on all sorts. I just think you can probably mix it up a bit more with your Domino's yeah. than if I went with Burger King. It'd just be a chicken burger or a beef burger every time. And then every time they bring out a new burger, you just got to hope it's something that is new rather than we've just took a bit of lettuce off and called yeah. it a new burger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I think my only thing with, with stuff like a Domino's is would you just get sick of the dough all the time? Because predominantly you're always going to have a pizza. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I would. And then because how, again, yeah. you can have... I could have chicken selects, not chicken selects, whatever they call them, like the chicken nugget type things. Yeah. Um, I think they've got three or four varieties of them. And then just have some potato skins with them or some wedges. Do they do chips? I think they do chips I as well. I don't do they? think they do Domino's. chips. Oh, okay. aware. But you, could do, you can get potato wedges, I'm sure, and potato skins. So you can be a little bit healthy and get your potato wedges and skins. Um, but not always that, go is, for the... Is that healthy? Just going for your potato wedges? Look, <laughs> We, we've, <laughs> we're sticking with one takeaway for the rest of our life. I don't think whatever we choose is going to be healthy. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I, I was thinking about this and I was thinking, I don't think I'd go for Domino's or a pizza outlet because I think I would get sick of the dough after a while. Okay. I mean, I love a pizza um, that has got a barbecue base rather than your tomato base. Really? I'll always go for that. I can't, I mean, I'll have a tomato base if need be but i'll always go for a barbecue base okay i think i would go for a chinese takeaway forever right. i think there's a lot of variety of a lot of things that i don't think i've ever tried before that mm. you could go right i've had this meal so much now but i need something else i'll go for this instead i'll go for this and you can maybe i guess kind of like a, a domino's you can mix and match and vary it up a bit but yeah. i think there's an, there's still enough variety there that you wouldn't have potentially just the same base of a meal all the time, which is basically the dough of a pizza. And then there, you can still get English meals. You can still get chicken and chips. If you choose the steak. right, if you choose the right Chinese, yeah. Yeah, um, but that's the thing. Yeah, and I think with a 
with like an Indian takeaway, it is essentially a curry. I know there's different options you can have, you know, but I think it's as a baseline, it's a curry mm. every time. And I think there's only so much variety you can have. Yeah, it's either um, a curry or like a mixed grill. Yes. It's, you kind of stuck within, yeah, you, you pretty much stuck within those two areas. And depending on what curry you have, and if you have to really stop varieting it and having to have more spicy curry, mm. you're gonna, it's going to hurt you the next day, every yeah. time. Do you not think if if you go with the Chinese and you've on, you've only tried a few dishes there, mm. is there not a risk that you won't like any of the other stuff that's an offer that you've never tried before? And there's a reason why I've not tried it before. And then you come back to it, it's like that. I'm only really sticking to these two or three options now because I'm not a fan of... No, that's true. That, uh, but I think you can say the same for Domino's though. You could get to a point you're like, I've have had every single option, but it's only these two versions I like. And then you only then stick to one and you only have, have one and then you get mm, sick of that. I think with Domino's, you can very much mix it up. The amount of different pizzas you can get. Yeah. And you can change your toppings when you want to. And I've just yeah. seen what the sides are. And there's quite there's quite a variety. It's quite okay. I mean, there's a lot of chicken, but you've got red hot wings, chicken wings, barbecue wings, strippers combo. Oh, sorry, strippers, which is the chicken selects. Yeah, yeah. Chicken kickers, the nuggets. Um, chicken mix box. There's Ooh. potato wedges. There's garlic bread. There's no potato skins, my bad. Um, but there's vegan stuff as well if you're... I liked how you had to clarify the strippers, as in it wasn't like people turning up stripping for you. Yeah, it there's, was no, there's no versus. chickens <laughs> going bark, 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 Just coming on, chicken a little bit. Yeah. Coming in, turning the light bulb revved. <laughs> my mum my mom said that I used to have chickens. Oh, oh, it was weird. Say that again. Right. Go, go. Yeah, in, in, the, in the back garden, they used to have chickens. Right, okay, yeah. And... The, I think, I mean, at one point, I think they had six, but then you, you, they die off every so often. Um, and there's about four of them left. And I remember at one point, they had to go to the neighbours next yeah. door to get some eggs. All like, right, okay. We're doing this wrong. You've got egg, you've got chicken thought, here. I Why aren't you getting eggs from the chickens? I thought your mum always had chickens. Have I got that wrong? Well, yeah, until they died. But I remember, it's only a funny story that's come to mind. I remember once coming to yours, went yeah. to your mum and dad's. and the, your... the same day I met Lucy. It probably the was the day. Yeah, it's probably the day you met Lucy. And was it, I think your, was your nephew there when he was only very little? Henry? Alfie. Alfie. My cousin. Yeah, your cousin. And um, he was in the garden playing and he came in and said to your, to Graham. Yep. His stepdad, like, oh, I've seen a fox, a fox in. Graham was very strong trait. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a fox. No, you didn't. <laughs> Telling lies, lad. Telling lies. <laughs> Um, they're, they're, um, they're moving. They're, they're, um, the house has been sold. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're currently on the lookout for for other houses. Ooh. Anyway. So no more conservatory, big garden. Oh. It's gone. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, takeaways. Um, chicken strippers. Yes, chicken strippers. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your... Okay, so what would be your ultimate... Um, so you, you, okay, you're going to have Domino's for the rest of your life. Yep. Or any other pizza outlet, but it probably is going to be Domino's. Yep. What is the ultimate pizza you're going for? Oh, what mate, I'm so, glad you've, I'm so glad you asked this question. And what yep. is the pizza that you would not touch with a barge pole? So you go okay, to somebody's then. house, they've only bought this one pizza, and you're like, I'm not touching that at all. I mean, ever be a standard pizza, not like some makeshift one. I don't think there'd ever be a pizza where I'd be like, no, not having that. Okay. It's got to be something that's awful, like oh, loads of anchovies, fresh tomatoes, and olives, something like that. Um, what the, if someone, oh, someone did a create your own and that's what they provided? There you go, Mike. The, <sighs> Lovely anchovies for you. I'd pick all the toppings off and just <laughs> eat the tomato base and maybe the cheese. That's Even on if there. the juices of all those have seeped into the sauce. David, why are you doing this to me? Anyway, happier times. Um, what, what's your ultimate pizza? Right, so it's, oh, it's, a, it's a toughy one. I'd probably go. I'm looking. I'm looking now on the website. <laughs> um, the meteor. Yes, I had that at the weekend. Did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, large. Yeah. 
Stuffed crust cheese. Ooh, that just so nice. Um, Should we order a Domino's after this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I might be get, I might be getting a tie tonight. Ooh, very nice. Mm. There's a, one of Lulu's um, favorite tie is ties is round here, so okay. uh, it's been hinted that we might have a tie. Very nice, very nice. Okay, ultimate pizza. Um, uh, what about you? Uh, I think pizza wise, I think like again, I think I, I can't disagree with that. In fairness, has to be the meteor, has to be large, has to be the uh, stuffed crust. I think for a Chinese takeaway, it would be a because um, it's different because it's not like an all you can eat place where you can really yeah. uh, vary up what you want. But it would be um, it's a bit boring in mine, but I really like it. it would be Singapore chow mein, which okay. is like uh, like a chicken chow mein with different meats, but a bit spicier. Mm. And literally, just give me some chips, give yeah, me yeah. some curry sauce, and I'm happy. Not so much the curry sauce. Ah, oh, I know. Yeah, you don't like curry sauce, do you? No. No. Oh, I love curry sauce. Don't do sauce, as, as you know. Yes. Uh, we had um, got, I, I got treated to a KFC on Sunday. Mm. Um, <laughs> very quickly, um, I was getting treated by a friend of ours because I helped um, try and find a present. Yeah, for her husband. Uh, so, sorry for her fella for a birthday, but didn't pull it off. But I was very much like trying to get it, trying to get it. I won't say it on here because he didn't get it, and he might get it in the future. Okay. Um, and she said, "Oh, thank very much. Appreciate your efforts, Mike. Um, I'll drop a a KFC to say thank you at some point." I was like, "Yeah, okay, cool." So Sunday, Valentine's Day, um, she dropped one off, and she said, "I didn't know which. I didn't know whether you had the mighty bucket for one or the bonus banquet for one. So I got you both." Oh, oh wow! I was like, <laughs> "Can I swap you with Lucy for my as my girlfriend, please?" <laughs> it was a great day. Um, why? Why did I get onto that? Why did I, I have no why idea. I that? Have you seen? Um, I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's Domino's or Papa John's or Pizza. Have you seen they've brought back a pizza that's got popcorn, chicken, uh, from pizza? KC? Yeah, pizza. Up. I'm tempted by that. I I would be, but because I don't I don't do their gravy. It's got the gravy on. So oh, I've got know. the gravy on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, no, then I'm not doing the gravy's, that. Um, it, it bedded inside it. I tell you what, there has happened. What has happened, and I want, mm. I'm keen to try it out. Walkers have done a collaboration with KFC. Right. Okay. So they're Max Walkers. I think it's Max. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. they've got two different. I think it's Zinger Burger, maybe, and original original chicken Ooh, tasting. That would be quite And nice. I've also heard um, if you buy one of those packets, you can get a two for one or something at KFC. Okay. I'm looking out for that in my local mm, supermarket indeed. shop place. Very good. Okay. Go. So on that regards, we're saying uh, takeaways, one choice for the rest of your life. It's either a Domino's, mm-hmm. maybe a Chinese takeaway from my side, but it kind of depends on everyone's preference, really. I don't think there's an ultimate. Ultimate is there? Oh, no, I don't, I don't think you'd, you'd never get everyone to say, yeah, that's the one that I'd stick with for the rest of my life. No yeah. chance. Okay, so from that, I hope we just get free dominoes then, somehow. Yeah, oh. Get, um, get some vouchers. I was going to say, we might have a sponsor, but I don't know if we will have a sponsor. I'll tell you about that later. Oh, okay. Keep people but I want to sus- get sponsored by, I want to get sponsored by Domino's or KFC. <laughs> okay. That'd be awesome. We'll keep people in suspense first, and if it's a viable sponsor, then we'll go for the Domino's <laughs> route. Okay, I think it's time for listener questions now, Mike. Let's get into it. Uh, listener questions time everybody it's your chance to send us your questions we'll try and answer them as best we can but we usually fail uh, Michael how do people get in touch if they've got a daft question for us um, they can get in touch via the Instagrams and the Twitters at a daft question or email us a daft question at gmail.com lovely what uh, listener questions have we had over the last few days so we have had one from at Led, ledag411 great name Yep. Um, what is the ultimate pancake filling? Ooh. Now, I think this is. Have you seen? Um, it was. I think it was all over Twitter. Um, what someone had put in their pancakes? No. And it would cause quite the storm. So at broadcast moose. Okay. Uh, and included a picture of this. Was this said, oh, this is talk sport moose? Um, I don't know. He's I don't, from is broadcast. It? Yeah, he's, he's yeah, from talk is, is, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's put, good morning, everyone, and I hope you have a flipping good pancake day. The one I'll be starting the day for breakfast with is the tuna pancake. Oh, I did and he's see put this. a picture of the pancake with tuna in the middle of it. You see, I am a very big fan of tuna. I love me <laughs> a tuna sandwich. I love me a tuna mayo sandwich, but I think that 
kind of crosses a line a bit. It's just it's just not right, is it? Because it depends what time, if it's even if it's tuna mayo. That oh, I'm not sure that works. I I, I mean I, I would I'd, I'd, I'd eat it, but I wouldn't be at home going oh what can I put in this pancake? I know. Quickly, I need something, something quickly. <laughs> um, um, no, so, yeah, so, so, oh, so, it's not tuna. So what's okay. the ultimate filling for you? We are going off though pancakes, as in that you traditionally make in the UK for Pancake Day, not the American. Pancakes. Well, I'm thinking, yeah, the pancakes that we, yeah, we would make. Well, See, well, whatever you want. Again, I would say, for me, it's still Nutella. It's still chocolate. Just even, Nutella. Yeah, if you fold it over, because I. I see a lot of people say they put bacon on theirs, which is great, but I don't right. think I've not again I've not tried it. But would a bacon would a bacon would bacon work with our version of pancakes? Would it not work I better with the American I've, version? Yeah, I've tried bacon with the American. I think I've been to a breakfast gaff and they've they've done you like your your stackers, your pancake yeah, stack, yeah. and they've done bacon with it, and I've tried that. Okay. Um what yeah. would you go for? Pretty What's your ultimate one for um, a, a British version? <laughs> pretty much everything, I think. I um, <laughs> y- y- So yesterday we had pancakes and I had Nutella, chocolate chips, sugar, lemon sprinkled yeah. on top, and then maple syrup um, as I folded it over. Um, but I'd add strawberries in there, no problem at all. Um, lemon curd. I'd love to try a bit of lemon curd in there. Lemon curd? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's more food than pancake now, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there were rules, David. <laughs> and how do you, if you had all that together, you've got to wrap it up. I mean, yeah. that's, that's and then a massive... knife, knife and fork, David. That's I'm not a, a monster. Ma- <laughs> Flipping heck. That's a massive up, stack, up that north, is. we do have some standards, you know. <laughs> some etiquette. Yes, a knife and a fork. No spoons, but we've got a knife and a fork. If you when, you, when you eat a piece of cake, how are you eating a piece of cake? With a fork or with your hands? Oh, depends how messy it is. I've just thought of a correspondence. We got a correspondence, by the way. I forgot my brother. Whoops. Okay. Was it through the official <laughs> channels? No. Well, I don't know if we can accept it. Yeah. Then, really. uh, but anyway, cake wise. Um, yeah, I'd, it depends how messy it is. If it was a normal sponge cake, then just yeah. see it with your fingers. See, I was, still, a... I was still used to fork. You're just wasting time. But, you know, even I have standards as well, Michael, <laughs> <laughs> on, <laughs> on cake eating. Um. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't. But it would, if somebody gave me a piece of cake without a fork, I wouldn't think, "Where's my fork, bitch?" Yeah, I'm not. Go- yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah. Just I'd, I'd eat it unless unless it was like a triple chocolate, gooey, yeah, dessert in my in my um, vicinity. Then mm. it, I'd I'd be fine. Yeah, just eat it with my fingers. Who Excuse cares? me, sir, madam. Where is my cutlery to eat <laughs> <laughs> this thing? Oi, where's my fork? Okay, so what was the original question again? Oh, a pancake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm saying pretty much everything. What were okay. you saying? I'm saying Nutella. I'm happy with Nutella. Right. I mean, I'll, I'll accept, you know, versions with lemon and sugar and strawberries, but give me a whack load of Nutella, fold it over, mm. let it goo out. Great. Yep. There we go. Other questions, Michael? Next question um, from Cage Fighting Pod. Good old Cage Fighting. Um, they've basically just re tagged us in a t- retweet. Mm hmm. And they've said, and it's basically what what are we saying to this? Yes or no? Banana sandwiches. I've not tried it, and I don't want ever. To try You've it. never tried a banana never sandwich. Well, I don't know why would I? It's fruit in a sandwich. It's fruit in bread. And I know you can have a jam sandwich. I know people are going to throw that back at me straight away. But slices of banana in a sandwich, oh, I'm not feeling that especially presume you've got to butter it as well the bread well the picture he sent it was quite debatable it, it, you didn't know whether it was butter or mayonnaise at the oh of the, that, um, that's worse now yeah wouldn't, never in a million years would i think of putting mayo on it okay um i imagine it'd be butter you'd put butter in it absolutely um Ooh, I'm not sure i about used that. i used to when i was a kid i'm sure I, I had a couple of banana sandwiches but it doesn't really tickle my pickle anymore okay my stepdad however loves them and he's 73. You got there. Yeah, 74, <laughs> 73. He might be 74 this time. Um, but he loves them. Absolutely loves a banana sandwich. No. The freak. Maybe I'll try it just to try it out, but I'm I think just sure. give it a go. Just give it a bash. If I'm struggling for the girls to get them to eat something, I might say, oh, would you like a banana sandwich? And I'll give that a go. Yeah. 
I'll give it a Let go. Let us know next week. Yeah. Okay. So other questions, Michael? Um, right. So other questions. And it's the one we've been waiting for, David. Yes. Come on. This is where so, if you're listening, you need to perhaps watch the YouTube version as well. So on the Twitter again, at the bluest star, mm-hmm. asked us, how many marshmallows can you fit in your mouth? Okay, so we're going as well for regular size marshmallows here. We're not going for the little itty bitty ones. No, no, no. It's um, yep, these, your normal. Yep. Normal I think size. the ones I've got, I'll just get them here. I'll just show them on screen. The ones that um, uh, my wife got for my daughters for Valentine's, which they haven't finished off. Wasbury and White. Yeah, or Wasbury and White chocolate mallows, they're called, not marshmallows. Oh. Mallows. A bit posh, these ones are. So I'll open these up. So I think we need to have a couple of ground rules. We have to go uh, one at a time. So for the audio listeners, the other person can count how many. All oh, right. Okay. In. So right. So if you do it and I'm just sat here going one, yeah, two. That's probably okay. best. Okay. And also uh, because um, for health and safety reasons, we probably need to. <laughs> we probably need to get to a limit where there's not so much in our mouths that we can't. Whoa, whoa, then whoa, whoa, whoa. As long as I win, I'm not bothered. Okay. I, I if I need to go with to twenty marshmallows. And I'm going blue, but I've won, then it's fine. I'm conscious of well, Maybe you're... just say, don't try this at home. And okay. we sorted them. Don't try this at home, everybody. There we go. I'm conscious of how many I've got as well. So we'll we'll go for it. So who I wants to go to, first? Um, this, the uh, mother in law, we had to text her or say what we wanted food wise and whatever. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, can you have some marshmallows for the podcast, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I've got marshmallows. So who wants to go first? Do you want me to go first? Um, Do you want to go first? Yeah, you go first. You go first. Because so, I want to know what I've got to beat. <laughs> right, okay. I'm conscious. I don't have this many in here, so let's open these up. Ah, I think I might be all right with these. So have you essentially just stolen these from your kids? Yeah, well, they, they've forgotten about these. <laughs> so, oh, wow! Okay, it's so, so fine then. If they've forgotten so, about I mean, Did they look, forget about them, David, or did you hide them purposely so they would forget about them? Look, and now they, it's have, like... they have enough treats, okay? They have <laughs> enough. Okay, so... I'm hoping these taste nice as well, because it'd be horrible if they taste horrible, and I'm going to keep going. Uh, right, okay. Are you ready to count, Michael? I'm ready to count, people? David. Here we go. Here's the marshmallow. Hang on, let me get it off. Sticking marshmallow. I think I need a do. plate to put all mine afterwards, but anyway. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ready? Go for it. Here we yep. go. Ready. One. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away! I'm going to do some manoeuvrability here. <laughs> Two. Two. Okay. Here we go. You're not the godfather now. <laughs> you burn off you. I can't refuse. Look, uh, uh, I'm going to... Yeah, what do I look like here? There we go, yeah. So what I do sometimes... <laughs> I don't know if you do this in Zoom meetings. I'm going to talk like right. this. Is <laughs> you, yes, you are. You always constantly look at yourself. On the Zoom call, I'm not that vain. I'm not that vain, David. I always do. So I've purposely sometimes. No, do I do. This yeah, sometimes I do. Yeah. On the, when we're doing this, or if I'm on a Zoom call for work, I'll cover my face with something on the computer. Really? So I'm not looking at myself. So I'm always looking at the person because I'm conscious. I'm always looking at myself. Okay. Because I look, you know, so good like this. Yep. Anyway, three, three. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I, I look at look at this already. I think I've got this in the bag. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck on three, right? Yeah. Four. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. You've given up. Shut oh, oh, up. Oh, 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 oh. You can at least two more, surely, David. I think you've taken just, one out now. Yeah, I've had to to talk. It's the size <laughs> of them. We're not chewing this. <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're not chewing these though. No, not. no, you're just putting them in your mouth and seeing how many we can fit in. No, I can't hang on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. You've given up. I'm not gonna the size of them. I'm not getting another one in. Right, so you, David, are saying you can fit four marshmallows in your mouth. I'm gonna have to eat these. Well, I don't know where I'm gonna I mean I've got the rest of my coffee cup, I'll have to stick them in there. I think, yeah, I'm easily going to smash four. Flipping heck. I think as well. I'm trying to hang on. Let me do a new one because this is just covered in my spit. If you can see Did that. You trying that, again? No, no, no. I'm trying to say these are square. I think right. yep. the shape of them um, oh, determines, determines you how get it gets this, you, get, you just give me these excuses right now. Come on. 
I mean, Klopp gives excuses every week, doesn't he? But uh, yeah, he but... does. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, he had cold feet. I was, I, I, yeah, I completely agree with you. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but no, I think that because they're quite, they're literally square. It oh, prohibits in your in your mouth. Anyway, Michael, four. It's a poor attempt, but let's see how four. you get on. I'm going to have this one while I'm here. Right, I'm going for four, <coughs> uh, Michael. Hang on. This isn't even. A... This is great audio content. <laughs> For me in a way. Right, I'll do this while it right. right. Michael, it's your turn. Do I need to stop at five? Or can I just see how many I can put? Oh, no, it's how many you can put on your mouth, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's yeah. not who wins. Right. Here we go. Michael to, to serve. One. Could you just show that to camera the, the size of that as well? Absolutely. Be- this is normal. These are normal marshmallows. I think mine are slightly normal bigger. Marshmallows. I think this, Look, these, are, these are slightly bigger. I well. thought tactically and got normal marshmallows. <laughs> you cheap skimp friend has stolen yours from your kids yeah and if you haven't thought oh i need to get some proper size marshmallows i'll just nick these ones instead then you might have one i still think these are bigger anyway two two there we go no chewing three three you look like you're chewing careful four no i'm moving (laughs) four here we go i think i win i five (laughs) five i think yeah mine are bigger Six. That's what Six. She, no, that's not what she said. <laughs> Six. Six. Okay. Seven. He's going. Eight. <laughs> Where are these going? Nine. This is a magic trick. I think they're dissolving. Ten. <laughs> oh, hang on. He's manoeuvring. Eleven. Yeah. He's still going for it. Is he? Oh. Twelve. Careful now. 13, 14. He's still going here, everybody. Hang on. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you need to stop. 15. Yeah, he's stopping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we'll let him chew that up. Mm. 15. This is, this is great content. A bit gutted. You got it at 15. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly because Lucy thought I could do the pack. Okay. Uh, so my measly four, but I am going to go for shape size. Uh, Michael's glamorous and agman- And what's the word? Not agmanimous. There's another word that sounds similar like to that. Magmanimous, there we go. 15. Well done, Michael. Uh, please don't try this at home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or you can do, but obviously, just be careful, please. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased that I beat you. Not that it was going to be hard. <laughs> but I'd like to have nearly finished the packet, especially as Lucy was like, no, you can do that. You can do the packet. It's fine. I'm eating the rest of the marshmallows out of my coffee cup, by the way. I've just spat out. I'm not wasting them. So 15 to Mike. Uh, Mike, were there any other uh, listener questions apart from that? Or was that filled up listener questions? We're good this week. Okay. Right. It's time for surprise question. It's time for surprise question. It's this time the podcast where Michael and I will ask each other a question. Complete surprise. We've had no prep work whatsoever. And it's off the cuff. This week, it's my turn for surprise mm-hmm. question. Um, I'm going to get a um, surprise question off my phone. Okay. It was, was, it was one I hadn't pre-planned, but I saw it and I thought, we've got to ask that question. Uh, so let me just find it on here. The I mean, if, if eating the marshmallows wasn't good audio content, this um, <laughs> is it, beating it. It was something that uh, we were sent or uh, made aware of. Okay. And it relates to a queer a question we had very early on in the series in series one that we very much enjoy. Okay. Um, and it's this, I'm going to rephrase it. It's this question. Michael, in Australia, there are 48 million kangaroos. Oh, you asking me? <laughs> okay. Uh, there are 48 million kangaroos in Australia. And in Uruguay, the population is basically three and a half million. So if the kangaroos decide to invade Uruguay, each mm-hmm. Uruguayan will have to fight 14 kangaroos. Michael, how many kangaroos can you fight off at one go? <laughs> so we know that 10-year-old children, you could fight off about, did you say about 10, 12? Yeah, I'm sure. 
So now we're going for full size. Ca- yeah. yeah, we're was... going for full size kangaroos. They're coming at you in a um, battle oh, royale. I, I, world I don't reward. think I don't think I stand a chance with kangaroos. I no. think I'd be, I'd be impressed if I could beat one of them. <laughs> I they they are ferocious beasts. How about if the kangaroos were the size of ten year old kids? Uh, but it's different. Like the ca- the kangaroos will can and will kick the shit out of you. No, they'll just bounce and kick, bounce and kick. Um, Ten-year-olds be too busy on TikTok or something. Um, I yeah, I don't think I I'd be impressed. I beat one. Okay. I don't think I'd do that well against kangaroos. Ah, right. Okay. So we're saying that none. You would easily <laughs> lose in a fight with kangaroos. I yeah. I mean, what do you think? Do you think you could? I think it'd take. Them? I think it'd take about six. You sh- <laughs> shut up. <laughs> So you could only take, did you say, two or three ten-year-olds? Two or three, but then again... But six kangaroos you'd quite happily beat. But, but kids can use words which hurt, whereas with kangaroos, I would just throw my arms everywhere, just hope for the best. And I think they'd and be you so... think using that technique, yeah, six th- kangaroos would be defeated? I think they'd be so perplexed and confused about what I'm doing, they'd be scared themselves. And I'd be able to fend some off by f- pure fear, and then it gets to the point where I get overwhelmed. So yeah, six... I'm going for that. I don't often say, say this, David, but sometimes you can talk some shit. I think a lot of people <laughs> say that, Mike, to me. Say what, Mike? Kangaroos. Award, a, award-winning podcast shit. That's what I would say. Is that... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah fair dues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not really, Mike. I can't take six on. Don't worry. <laughs> well, right. Good. Okay. No, I, I didn't think you could. I'm, I'm not... <laughs> You don't have to sit there and go, yeah, you're, you're right. You're well, right. Yeah, I know I'm right. I, I, thought you, I thought you'd say, oh, okay, take on a couple. I would they, go. They will come at you, and maybe not, I don't know about their arms. I've not really seen kangaroos in fights, but they can jump up and then drop kick you yeah. with both feet. And there's no chance I'm, I'm standing that. I'm sorry. Would you like That's... to live in a kangaroo's pouch for the day? Oh, no. If it was all, all clean. Gooey and stuff. If it wasn't all gooey. If it was clean. Yeah. And they just well, like, you know, could I communicate to this kangaroo? Uh, yeah, go on, I'll lay that right. They, yeah, yeah, in the yeah, would, yeah. if I could ask him, ask, ask them to take me wherever they wherever I wanted, yeah. then it's an experience. Take, take me to the shops. bucket list, yeah. Take, take me to the shops. Can you just mm. jump up a bit more so I can get to that top, top oil? I'll have to make sure they're in our bubble for the well, quarantine, self quarantine for two weeks, and they can be in our bubble, but yeah. yeah. Okay, so procedures in place, but yeah, it's doable. Yeah, as long, yeah, okay. fine, sweet, I'll, I'll do that. Lovely, surprise question done, it's time for <laughs> the last question of the podcast. Yeah, time for the last podcast question of this show, everybody, and we are talking about two different types of days, beach days and snow days, both um, very good in their own different ways, um, but Michael, my question to you is, what is better, a beach day or a snow day? Ooh. Beach day. Oh, okay. As I as I sit here now as a as an adult. Yeah. Beach day. <laughs> okay. I will go snow day for me. Okay. That's what I was. I wouldn't. I was genuinely going to go for snow day. So please present your arguments for beach day, Michael. Fine. Um. Hate snow days. As as, okay. as an adult, I like. You can't go anywhere because nobody mm. can drive properly. You you can't drive properly. Um. Everyone just mourns about snow, like oh, it's snowing. That snow, it's the it's the only thing I know that dominates the entire news. Yeah, like the the open up today, snow has caused traffic. The weather, it's snowing. Sports, such such a such a match has been called off because of the snow. Like it just causes issues. Snow, snow yeah. day. Whereas a beach day, mate. Like let's go let's go to the beach. Hang, hang there for one or two hours and just sit back in the bars and just drink and get sunburned, but it's fine because you're making the most of the sun. Okay. And watch people and get pissed some more. Okay. And eat some more. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about being inside because you're too cold or you're wet or damp or anything like that. You can easily travel there, no problems at all. You're all in a good mood. If you go, if you like, if you're going there for the piss up, everyone's like, yay, yay, banter, banter, banter. Um, do, do people actually do that? Do that? They Ban- yeah, get... banter, banter, banter. <laughs> yeah, of course they do. Um, it's just that the atmosphere is better. That's why you go on holiday to the beautiful countries mm. more often than not. 
because it's it, it's a beach day, it's sunny. Let's let's build some sandcastles. Personally, won't go in the sea, but if you want to go in the sea, you you crack on. Okay, okay. How about getting sunburned? Yeah, well, I, I mean, for, yeah, that is for me. That is one thing. But yeah. just make sure you're whacking on your factor fifty. How about when you've got sand everywhere and in your car for days to come? Oh, just get a vacuum. Flipping out. <laughs> How about if it gets too hot and your shade, um, the way you can get shade is nil? Well, I'd just go under a pier or something. <laughs> oh, oh that, that's the moment when you go to the arcades. Okay. Yep. And you have your, you have your bevies and you're like, Ray, two peas. Come on, come on. Oh. And you've got a bucket of two peas. You're like, what am I going to yeah, do with this? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. See, I'm going snow day because I think it's such a... I, I get the adult thing, you know, when you're an adult, it's a bit more of a nuisance. When you're a kid, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I think snow days are such, more so in this country, are such a rare occurrence. Mm-hmm. It's like a magical day that only happens. And it can, it can't, it may not happen for like once every three years. It has to be dependent on the weather. Whereas a beach day... As long as you've got the transport, it's there. You can pre-prepare for the weather now and get a good day, and you can turn up. You're going to be wary of a beach day that not everybody turns up at the same time, and it's rammed, and you've mm-hmm. got like no space. Whereas a snow day, you've got your own kind of house outside there. You can do what you want, and you can just do things on a snow day. And it's just, for me, it's just a rare day that you. It's just by chance. And if you properly get a snow day, because you can get snow days where it's a little tiny bit, you're like, oh right, okay, not snow day. We can get proper snow, we can build snowmen, do snow angels, get you to bog and slide down. Yeah, it disrupts transport, but in this current climate, we're all at home anyway, you can take advantage of it. I think oh, right, the... you're throwing that in, are you? You're yeah. Throwing, <laughs> you're throwing, well, we, all, we, we can't go to the beach anyway, so we might as well... But with, with, with the beach day, you are dependent on... Well, not dependent, it is easier, easier accessible. And if you live by the beach, does a beach day feel as special as a snow day. Oh, you just keep throwing, what if you live in the Antarctic? <laughs> do, do snow days feel as special? You can't just keep throwing, the question was, do you prefer a snow day or a beach day? Not when we're in lockdown. If you live next to a beach, here's a question for you then, here's a question. Okay, okay. Would you rather have, right? Yeah. From January the 1st, 31st December, would you rather have the hottest day of the year or one day when it was based from the east? Which day would you prefer? So would you rather have the hottest day of the year or the coldest day of the year, basically? Yeah. So you wrote, right, like, this, how bad it was for Beasts of the East. Yeah. This goes to, do you rather being hot or cold, basically? No, it's not. It's rather, not at all. You're twisting things. It's <laughs> Beasts from the East when yeah. you couldn't do anything. Yeah. Or the hottest day of the year when you could do what you want in the sunshine. I, right. I would still say Beasts from the East. Shut up. Because I think... You saying the hottest day of the year you can do everything isn't true. If it's blistering hot, you're boiling. Your house inside is hot. It's at, it's hotter outside, as it were. You are just sweating there. I think it's easier to get warmer from being cold than it is to get colder from being warm. You have you know in this country we don't have aircon really. I mean, if you go no. to a t- you go to a Tesco, it's like glory in a heat wave because mm-hmm. you hit the aircon hits you. And in the evening, you're trying to go to sleep. It's a nightmare to go to sleep in the evening when it's been boiling hot. Whereas in the evening, if it's been cold, if you're lucky enough, whack the central heating on, nice and toasty, go to sleep. Completely disagree. <laughs> so you're happy to have a really uncomfortable night's sleep well, yeah, and an uncomfortable day. I very rarely have uncomfortable night's sleeps because of the weather. Like, open some windows and crack a fan. Yeah, but even if you open the window, it's still sleep boiling. Sleep naked. <laughs> It's, we all put, have to put do one that. Leg, put one leg over your, over your uh, quilt. The oh, people, no, you, you, ha- you have to go fully over the quilt, I think. I very, very rarely go fully over the quilt. And then it's the cold pillow scenario. You get a cold pillow, it warms up, then you've got to flip it over again. No, and right, it stays no cold. you don't. You just... I've never... I genuinely, unless, unless I have woken up and I've sweated for whatever reason, if it was the hottest day of the year, I have never flipped my pillow over. For really? the cold side, like you it's have a the pillow. Cold side. Just grow up. <laughs> you gotta have the cold side of the pillow. Come on. Right, what, what, it is, right there isn't a cold side. I'm, I'm, I'm. Don't think well, there, there is because it's, it's, it's been in the shade. Technically, it's not been exposed outward. So you flip it, it's colder. 
it's a scientific it's fact. Slightly, slightly cooler. No, it's it's nice and cool. I just think you but, can get more uncomfortable in the heat, whereas in the cold, only if you're unprepared, you can, you can warm up. What? Well, how do you prepare? How do you prepare for the heat? You build air just said, in your house. I've just said, open your windows, get fans. It's not hard. And then go outside, into pubs, into into the shades. Go for a beach day, whatever. Just put on Factor Fifty. Wear a cap. Like, and if you get sunburnt, you get sunburnt. You just put okay. some Nivea on afterwards. This is turning into argument territory now, <laughs> which is not what this podcast was about. Whereas if it's a snow day and it's a yeah. beast from the east, you're, you're pretty much stuck. Yeah, but you can wrap up warm, you can stay inside and just have warmth. You can go outside, you can do things that you can use the elements to your advantage that you can't do for anything else. You can make snowballs, you can make a snowman, you can toboggan, you can slide. You, you, t- can... you can toboggan. Yeah. When was the last time you tobogganed? Um, I attempted a few weeks ago when it really snowed here and realised really? that, that I'm too old for it. Mm, so, but you okay. can, you know, I think I look. I think you can do. And again, it's a rarity. You can go to the beach any time of the year, really. Obviously, in the the best time is the summer, or as a snow day. You depending on if the weather is right enough to create enough of a snow day to use it. And we'll agree to disagree, Michael. Mm, okay. With that okay. facial expression there. Let us know what everybody else thinks. Beach day or snow day. We'll do a poll. Yeah, we'll do a poll. And then Michael, you should be like this if you lose. <laughs> all, all my Twitter accounts will be like um, uh, Sunday, beach day, beach day. Yeah. Uh, but let us know what you think. Uh, Michael, how can people get in touch to let us know their mm. version of that? Sorry, I was on a marshmallow. <laughs> um, we've got Instagram and Twitter at a daft question. We also have an email account that nobody's really using at the minute. So feel free mm. to email us, guys. Yeah. A daft question at gmail.com. Uh, and YouTube as well, of course. They can leave comments on videos. They can. It's not been successful, as we pointed out last time, that we don't no. tend to notice them. But yes, you are able to leave a comment on our YouTube channel. Just searched a daft question. Lovely. My friend Matt Hobbs is the only one who seems to leave a comment. Yeah. So I'm very pleased with that. Thank you, Matt. And any other spam we get. Yeah, we got a spam this week, didn't we? <laughs> we did, yeah. So please, Matt, continue uh, those questions. And spammers, uh, I mean, if it's an actual question, you, you can put it there. Any spam, as long as it's a question. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for listening. You can follow us, as Michael said, through the usual channels. Get your questions in. We do want correspondence. Please send them to correspondence. Please. please give us your answers to the questions we've talked about this week. Did you agree? Did you disagree? Let us know. Was that a dog How in many, the background? It, the, it's, we've got, I've got the window open. Oh, um, okay. So there's... <laughs> so I, I thought... I wondered if you are going to hear that, but then you just didn't say anything. So I thought, oh, is he is ignoring that? Um, yeah, there's a dog somewhere. I think it might be next door. Okay, lovely. Uh, so for this week, it's bye from Michael. And it is bye from David. It's bye from me. We'll see you next time.